Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we look at what Bissan, who's one of the remaining journalists or reporters in Palestine, is asking the, the whole world to do. Now, Bissan has been updating the world on what really has been happening in Gaza and on the ground. And according to her, she's scared for her life now because it's like things just keep on getting worse and worse each day that passes by. More reason she's begging and asking people to call for a global strike week, week of January 21st to the 28th. Now, Bissan is literally asking the world to help the Palestinian people because because she feels maybe by going on a global strike, this might help. Now, she wrote to say, we are human beings like you. We had beautiful cities, many lives and dreams, which are being destroyed in front of us and are still being destroyed. You can make a difference and, and stop this G-side. Do not despair and continue until the ceasefire. Being one of the few still surviving in terrible conditions in Ghana, I feel this is a serious, serious call to the world. Check out these videos I've compiled together for you of people responding to her video. I will be right back with more information to this video. Bisan has made an update on her feed. She's okay and she's asking for a global strike week. Starting on the 21st to the 28th, she is asking for everyone to stop the commerce of the economy as well as to protest every way we can. After my survival with a miracle tonight while being stuck in the hospital until now, it's time for this to end. It is justice against injustice and good against evil. It is a war against humanity in the world, not just against Gaza. Here we are now all under bombardment and are at risk of death at any moment and you can make a difference. We civilians across the world do not have the tools of war. We do not first for unaliving and death. We only have our throats in the demonstrations and our boycott of the economic movement in our countries, especially those that support the side committed by Israel and Gaza. Strike from the economic movement's work and your normal life because nothing is normal in this life. Strike as much as you can and protest for a whole week or until this madness ends. You can disrupt the economies that support the side and make your voices and our voices heard. Call for strikes during the next week for an immediate and permanent ceasefire. We are human beings like you. We had beautiful cities, many lives and dreams. They were destroyed in front of you and are still being destroyed. You can make a difference and stop the genocide. Do not despair and continue until the ceasefire. There is a global strike going on. Bison the journalist has asked for everybody to participate in this global strike. And if you want to participate, join. If you ever grew up on the saying that we are all one and we all bleed the same color, participate. Honestly, if you believe in God, if you believe in all, a law, if you believe in any type of source that is high and loving, I feel like you should participate because as we all know, it says it in the Bible, it says it in the Quran, uh, love thy neighbor for, th for thyself, you feel me? Love everyone. So let's love everybody and let's actually, heal, excuse my language, just heal the world. So it's, it's starting uh, January 21st. Uh, it's that whole entire week. Basically, we're not spending money. We're not working. We're not going to school. We're not. We're not being part of the economy. You feel me? We're no. We're no. We're gonna take from them, just how they took from our brothers and sisters in Palestine. Just how they killed these innocent kids. We're not gonna kids. We're not gonna people. We're going to take their money, their most source. You feel me? Which is us. We. We are their money. We are their energy. Without us, they don't do anything. They can't go nowhere. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Um, and this is going to affect all of us globally. So we need to be a part of this global strike on January 21st. It is quite simple. Don't buy anything. Don't bank. Call in to work January 21st. Y'all, we can shock them economically. You know what I'm saying? They're on top of... You know, this uh, this global warming that is going to occur. Never forget all these innocent lives that are being lost, that are literally getting their houses destroyed. The information, where I got this information from, this girl got her house, her, her house uh, bumped, and then the shelter she was staying in bumped. Everything is, it's an aside. And we need to be aware of this because it, it, it's going to affect us all. It is affecting us all. Now, Bissan, who is a Palestinian journalist in Gaza, has recently called for a global strike lasting from January 21st to January 28th. After her survival with a miracle, Bissan told participants to avoid traveling, working, buying or selling goods or otherwise engaging with the economy. Now, in her words, since civilians do not have access to tools of war, Bissan suggested that civilians fight back through demonstrations and boycotts. She wrote the following as a plea to her audience. We are human beings just like you. We had beautiful cities, many 
many lives and dreams they were destroyed in front of you and are still being destroyed you can make a difference and stop this g side do not despair and continue until the ceasefire now while Bissan garnered the support of her growing audience some netizens have wondered how those who cannot strike could support the cause Bissan herself has not said anything about this but others have suggested protesting contacting representatives and talking about palestine to raise awareness about the cause some people took to social media to contribute to this by saying that by boycotting the economic movement in our countries we can get local politicians to prioritize calling for a ceasefire and demand consequences to the israeli government for the g side they are committing against the palestinian people so you can participate in the strike by not going to work school not making any purchases even groceries get them this weekend to strike next week and using your social media to post about palestine now she made another post to say after my survival with a miracle tonight while being stuck in the hospital until now it's time for this to end it is justice against injustice and good against evil it is a war against humanity and the world not just against gaza we are now all under b and at risk of being unalived at any moment and you can make a difference now in gaza displaced civilians are again fleeing as intense israeli b rains down on khan units including the area around its main hospital al nasa israeli ground forces have also been reported in the area overnight palestinian journalist bisan was able to post a video from the hospital despite a five-day long communications blackout now she said she feared it could be her final update the medical staff the ambulances many people also evacuated the hospital and that's so dangerous now this is the last functioning hospital in gaza that means that thousands of areas are still now alone in the hospital this place people are alone in the hospital they are besieged and she doesn't know if you, she is going to survive this and this is what she said i don't know if i can survive this or go anywhere i'm just alone alone as thousands alone as many in other hospitals were before the last remaining hospital in gaza is now under attack everyone is fleeing and nobody has anywhere else to go now in december there was another call for a global strike demanding an end to israeli war on gaza this is where palestinian organization and grassroots activists did call for a worldwide strike demanding an immediate ceasefire in gaza which has been devastated by more than two months of israeli unalivings but rights groups said that israeli has used disproportionate force in the besieged enclave of 2.3 million people unaliving overwhelmingly civilians now palestinians and supporters across the world plan to take part in a global strike involving all aspects of public life to express solidarity with the palestinians in gaza and call for an end to israeli unalivings people have been aged to skip school and work additionally people striking need to stay home and refraining from going out to restaurants banks and stores and also not making online transactions or shopping online now in an instagram post bisan, post, bisan called for a strike from economic life and daily movement many activists and organization from palestine and elsewhere did make similar posts on different social media platforms some using the hashtag strike for gaza now the call for the strike was announced by palestinian national and islamic forces a coalition of major palestinian functions this movement stood against the open g side in gaza the ethnic and the colonial settlement in the west bank said a statement released by the coalition the strike also opposed attempts to undermine the just national cause of the palestinian people it added and political party fatah's secretary said the strike is a rejection of the united states veto of the recent united nations security council resolution calling for a ceasefire in gaza this is a message to the u.s administration that stood against the aspirations of the people and now we are seeing bisan calling for another strike for a week here's what people had to say about this call for a global strike no economic activities no working no studying no spending money no transportation no fast food no gas make a list of all the things you need from the stores and buy them before the week of the strike 21st to 28th water milk food diapers gas any first need product for an entire week we're not going to spend any money no purchases via visas credit cards online palestinians currently don't have access to water food electricity and every single building is being destroyed as the days go by including their last functioning hospital please spread bisan's call for global strike as much as possible via social media now this one says all right i'm a be real with you you just can't declare general strike and grind the whole damn global economy to a halt three days later a national let alone international general strike isn't happening on short notice a general strike requires coordination with the unions of hundreds of industries and months or years of preparation to get off the ground even more so when other countries are involved you want a general strike you gotta put in the legwork set a date more than three days in advance organize educate contact relevant unions promote the hell out of it 
through different media branches i'm legally banned from striking so i can't just not work but nevertheless we should all understand that two weeks notice means waiting for another thousands of gazans to be unalived now if gazans were in a position to do any of that organizing they wouldn't need the strike this is a desperate appeal for a show of conscience from a people who have nothing in the world but what the world is prepared to do to restore their rights there was already 104 days to decide and be educated everything streaming live for all to see and share with the uneducated you're either for or against we have finally come to the end of the video kindly feel free to share your own thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and of course share your comment down below